and my loves thank you for tuning in so in today's video we're going to be doing everything that has to do with exfoliating in the previous video we did everything masking so today we're getting into depth with um exfoliating so before we go any further please make sure baby girl is subscribed please make sure that you subscribe to the channel i am begging you i'm pleading with you please subscribe and do like the video if these are the kind of videos that you appreciate and follow me on all my social media platforms you know the drill baby and turn on your post notification okay so let's just get into the video so the main reason why i'm doing this video is because masking and exfoliating are on the same are in the same whatsapp group and we need to deal with them together you cannot do one and leave the other all right so um the main purpose of exfoliating is to remove the dead skin on the surface of your skin basically i did say masks do that but um it's not their main purpose because masks are much more dealing with pigmentation scarring uh pimples whatever masking deals with that but the main purpose of exfoliating deals with removing the dead skin that is on the surface layer of your skin right so with these kind um with exfoliating we have two kind of exfoliators which is one the mechanical or chemical mechanical or the physical one and then we have the chemical one so the physical one is the one that uh, usually comes as face scrubs so face scrubs are exfoliators so uh, face scrubs they usually carry granules inside and that's part um anything that carries granules face scrubs that carry granules are used as the physical exfoliator and most um exfoliators carry sugar of which is in a granule form and even homemade um what do you call exfoliators people usually use sugar because sugar is that go when it comes to exfoliators it scrubs and does the things to your skin right so um now the chemical one is basically the one that you just put on your skin it's some sort of a lotion or um a product that you put on your skin and you don't scrub it but it has properties inside that eat off the dead skin of your skin you understand so it de eats the um, the skin that's ne that needs to go and this process is usually called chemical there peel. There's one uh, um, chemical exfoliator, chemical peel that I know people have been raving about and if you would like to try it, you may. I haven't tried it personally, but people have been raving about it. It is the ordinary peeling solution which has an AHA of 30% and BHA of 20%. So those AHA and BHA are acids that are very important when it comes to chemical uh, peeling and and I haven't done intense research about it, but I believe that the enzymes that are supposed to be eating the dead skin are contained in those two acids, right? So, um, um, how often should one um, exfoliate? I need to stop saying. Um, how often should person a person exfoliate? It really depends on your skin type, and it also depends on the amount on your masking routine basically because um masking as soon as much as you mask it's as much as you exfoliate you exfoliate first and then you mask those two go together you cannot do one and leave the other you understand so you exfoliate um as much as you mask so if you mask on a daily basis then you need to exfoliate on a daily basis because usually they go together so um the people who are have an oilier skin usually have to exfoliate more and that's just how it is because of the oil, the high oil production and even the products that we use on our skin kind of remain and uh, stay on the outer layer and eventually forms part of dead skin. So uh, you do that as much as you can. I personally exfoliate once in two weeks uh, and mask once in two weeks. That's just my routine and it has been working for me. I don't believe that I could mask each and every single day because my skin needs to survive on its own and it needs to breathe. So um, I'm going to be listing uh, the kind of chem uh, the kind of exfoliators that different skin types could be using. It's not products, it's just either chemical or uh, the physical exfoliator. So people with dry skin are much more uh, to use the chemical one because it has uh, a high H A H A A H A because uh, which has a high H A. Oh my god. <laughs> People with dry skin are recommended to use the chemical peel or chemical exfoliator which has a high AHA 
because it's the one that helps with the flaky skin and if you were to use the the what do you call the one with the granules or the physical exfoliator it would rip um, off the dead skin and eventually hurt the inside skin so dealing with the with the flakes or the dry skin you would be recommended to use the chemical peel which will only eat the dry skin right and people with sensitive skin are recommended to avoid are recommended to avoid mechanical or physical peeling physical exfoliators because you tend to be red some people react you get rashes you know all of that and we're not trying to damage our skin or hurt our skin any in any way so you are recommended to use the um chemical one so for people with the oiliest skin are recommended to use the physical one that's not even a question because y'all guys your skin goes through a lot and honestly i feel like the chemical pill will not do much but you would use it but not as much as you use the physical one because of the oil production you will have to like really like scrubbed in and all of that your skin needs that and then for people with normal skin like me literally use anything whatever your skin feels like or whatever you feel like you can use it and people with combination skin as well can interchange them so um yeah guys that's about it i don't have much so i really hope this video becomes helpful to you oh by the way i forgot uh four 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 for physical masks, um, the pr the brands that uh, I recommend are L'Oreal, Garnier, and Neutrogena. I know I have used the Neutrogena before. The L'Oreal, I'm dying. I am dying to use the L'Oreal one. I have had people rave about it and I've seen it in stores, but I haven't really picked it. So I might just um, include it as well. And then, guys, just make sure that when you're buying the exfoliators or any products, make sure that you check the skin type because if it says for dry people for people with dry skin and you have an oily skin baby girl it's not gonna work for you so please make sure that you check the skin type and yeah follow the directions because that's where we die okay so that's about it thank you for watching i hope you do subscribe i hope you like the video i hope you share and yeah that's a bit from me so see you next time Thank you.